Gamecock Cheddar, I guess, this week, Trey Smith, the Jacksonville State senior wide receiver. Um, first touchdown catch of the season Saturday right. against Tennessee Martin. Did you think you were going to get one this year? Yeah, um, I, I didn't think I was, wasn't going to get one. It just it was it was taking a minute. But um, Quest found me in the end zone, and I, and I appreciated him for receiving another touchdown from him. I think that particular route was open all day right there, wasn't it? Yeah, the day route was open. Um, the um, they was kind of um, shading Allen a lot um, on that on that particular route combination, and um, Quiz found me. It started out injury kept you out right. for the first couple of weeks. So did it take you a little bit to get going after that? Yeah, um, after I got back, I had to wear my knee brace for a couple of weeks, and it kind of um, messed with me my, my my range of motion, but. Um, it's more not, mental too. Yeah, more mental than anything. I felt like in it, but it's it's not bothering me at all right now, and I'm back to 100. percent I know it was a disappointing finish, but Saturday, last home game, means a lot to you and the other seniors, doesn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, it's the last home game. Family and friends gonna be here senior night. Um, just uh, the last home game. We um, undefeated at home right now, and just try to keep it that way. One more after that. Is it hard to believe your career's about to come to an end? Yeah, I was just telling the seniors. I remember when I went on my on my visit to to my colleges and stuff out of high school, and it's my last game coming up. It, it fly by. Talk about coming here to Jacksonville State, and uh, I know you transferred. You went to school in the MAC to begin with. Um, just wanted to come back, and get closer to home, get right. south. What was the, what was the reasoning there? I'm just um, a lot. Of, I had a, a lot of differences um, with the head coach up there. We um, just felt like we needed to part ways, and I just started a new, started a new way. And Quez and um, Kevin Cooper, we're from the same, from the same county, so he talked to me, and I ended up getting here. It's been a good move for you because it's, it's the two years you've been here, it's been pretty good for you, right. hasn't it? Yeah, it's been real good. Um, been blessed to play, um, play every game, but the last two for this first year, and been been blessed to play with a great group of guys, great group of guys, and and great seniors. Offensively, the other day over 500 yards, uh, throwing it well, what 36, 38 times, something like that. I ask you a question. I asked Quez before uh, playing these teams and throwing 50, 60 times a game. Do you sometimes you wish you were in an offense like? Oh that? yeah, um, it's it's fun watching it. Um, I know we we had got down last, um, Saturday and we ended up coming out three wide the whole possession. I was and I I kind of figured that lesson was going to put it in our hands um, to bring it back in. It was fun um, throwing it around, pitching and catching. That's it's fun ball. Bonner had a couple of nice catches. Did you find yourself saying wow on a couple of those that he made Saturday? Oh yeah, I was after he caught a couple. I was looking at him and he was looking at me like, yeah, like we couldn't believe what was going on right now. Because after he caught the first two, it was like okay, it's two touchdowns. Then he caught another one, then another one, then another one. It was every time he scored, we was looking at each other just like it was one of those nights. Maybe you'll have one Saturday like that. Yeah. God willing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good luck Saturday. Appreciate you. Trey Smith, Jacksonville State at home Saturday. Gabe Cox against Austin P. 3 o'clock kickoff here at Burgess Snowfield.